It has exactly been six months since Russia invaded Ukraine. While Russia's record employment signals a surprisingly smooth decoupling from the West, signaling that business as usual is ongoing in the country. However, the on-ground situation narrates a completely different story. Russia's biggest automaker, Avtovaz, offers an insight into the contrasting fortunes of a country. This was heavily, this, that has been heavily sanctioned by the West. The Russian automobile manufacturing company resumed production this summer after it was halted in March in face of Western sanctions and supply shortages. The company has not formally laid off any of its 42,000 workers, but it is feeling the heat of the penalties and is now shrinking. The bulk of around 3,000 workers at the factory, where car production has not resumed, have been furloughed since March this year. The company, as of now, is paying two-thirds of their wages, with some workers engaged only for a specific period of time. Сложности с графиком, с, с тем, что периодически бывают провалы, вот то, что комплектующих нет и так далее, я бы лучше на автозаводе остался. Я, собственно, собственно учился, чтобы остаться на автозаводе, потому что я в цехе штамповки и учился на обработку металлодавления, чтобы там пригодиться. А сейчас я просто понимаю то, что я отучусь, но... Моя, работа, моя, ну, моя специализация просто сейчас будет не востребован, даже то, что цех остается, но объемы не те, там не нужны э, в таком количестве технологий. However, the Russian economy minister declined to comment on the dramatic rise in joblessness, which official data has pegged at a record low of 3.9% in June. The Russian government is rather optimistic and says that the country's economic contraction will be less severe than what was predicted. Meanwhile, it is not only the Russian automaking industry which has taken a hit. Many other sectors have also been affected. About half of all air traffic controllers have been furloughed or put on part-time work. Several foreign companies also leaving Russia, with some brands like Zara and Giant also laying off their staff. As of now, the future of many of these workers looks precarious as the conflict continues, with many of them contemplating an uncertain economic future. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.